I want to talk about this, but I don't want to talk about it before we do the show. True. Okay. Ah, let me think of a penis joke. Welcome to Akihabira, where we take a good long whiff of the collective athletic supporter of the Japanese brewing industry. I'm Eric. <laughs> I'm Casey. <laughs> How's that? So last week we were up in Fukushima, and we came across this wonderful little beer. This was recommended to us from a friend who swears by it. He says it's one of the best beers up there. Um, I'm not sure if it's available anywhere else, so we're lucky that we grabbed a couple bottles of it. It is the Nanakusa Nano Brewery Nanakusa Beer. Nanakusa Brewery is based up in Nihonmatsu City in Fukushima Prefecture. They were started in 2006. Actually, the brewery itself is part of a larger farm, sort of an agricultural collective. Around 2006, a gentleman named Seki and his wife, who previously worked for the uh, government ministry, the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries, decided that they didn't want to work the office life anymore, quit their jobs, and moved to Fukushima. I don't know if they went to Fukushima. Quit their jobs and moved to the countryside to start their own farm. Originally, it was just a farm, but after the Tohoku earthquake in 2011, they wanted to create a beer as sort of a recovery effort for the region. They got their brewer's license in July of 2011, a few months after the earthquake. It was just a farm in 2006 when it started? It looked that way, yeah. Beer only came about from 2011. Right, so beer was later on after the earthquake as sort of a let's support the area thing, because they are based up in the afflicted and region. get fucking drunk. Because, <laughs> man, do we need it. They have three beers right now. Each one of them has fruit juice added to it. Um, so the one we're drinking today is kaki or persimmon. They also have a yuzu one, which is like a citrusy fruit. And finally, they also have a pear. The only other thing to mention here is if you have a look at the bottle and the label on the bottle, you'll notice a bee, like a mascot. And that was like a, a play on words for them, like bee and beer. They made a cute little bee for the mascot. They're reaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, like we said, we went up to Fukushima Shi, Fukushima City, to grab this. Um, it is available in that prefecture. Outside of it, I'm not really sure where you can get this beer. It might be a little bit tough. Maybe in an antenna shop? Or Maybe, something. yeah. You could probably track it down. Cool. Um, it was also really hard to find information about this brewery. Like, they have a website that mentions the beer, but that's about it. The story about the founding of the brewery came from some other dude's blog that oh. we had to translate. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of hard to get info about these guys. All right, let's drink. All right, here we go. Come by. Come by. There's definitely a sweetness to it. If you hadn't told me that there was persimmon in this, I would not have guessed. No, absolutely Ever. not. <laughs> now, to be fair, we don't even know what style beer this is. No, it's actually a lot darker than I expected it to be. When I poured it out, I was kind of surprised. Relatively sure that it's an ale. It's unfiltered, so it's really dark and cloudy. I would say it does taste unfiltered, but it that's tastes... not a bad thing. No, no, right. no, it just tastes. It tastes like a... Like a man who's been out working the fields all day. <laughs> He's just got his work tool. <laughs> He's got a, a pickaxe in one yeah. hand and a cocky in another. <laughs> it is considered a hoppo shoe. It has malts. It has barley. It also has fruit juice, like we said before, and hops. So there is more than just um, the normal ingredients. And it's considered a hoppo shoe because of that. We think, anyway. We think. We're assuming. So that's probably something we should know. So here's your rating system. All right. A 10 okay. is a pleasant bullet train, Shinkansen ride, Ooh. to Fukushima. It's luxurious in the green car. Nice. Oh, nice. Um, to pick up this beer. Yes. Your feet are massaged by the uh, beautiful Obento lady. She's young and hot. She's a mas masseuse, masseur, whatever it is. She can massage people. So she's massaging your feet. Take okay. <laughs> your bento is provided to you by the finest bento shop in Tokyo nice you have a pleasant hour and a half ride up to Fukushima sweet that's your 10 yeah. a one is a drive to Fukushima uh oh okay but on the day when all the cows in Japan have been released onto the highway <laughs> they stumble around aimlessly um, shitting everywhere other cars don't know what to do they're crashing all over the place um, for some reason all the obachans in Tokyo, I've decided to walk up to Fukushima on the same day. They've been released as they've well. Been also, they've also been released. They're <laughs> moseying along on the highway, constantly in your way, much like a Tokyo subway station. 
It's kind of like speed. <laughs> if you don't get to Fukushima in 90 minutes, your car will clearly explode. Oh, we're dead no matter what. Die. Is it also like Golden Week? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, let's make it Golden Week. And it's raining because fuck it. I think I'd give this a six and a half, seven range, six, seven range. Okay. It's, it's a nice, refreshing beer, and it's different, and I like it, but it's also a bit heavy, so you can really only enjoy one at a time, I feel. Okay. Um, so it's a nice change of pace, but it's not something that I would want all the time. Okay. But a very nice beer. I like this one better than the Echigo Red, which was our last ah. beer. But if I had to drink two of them, I would prefer two Echigo Reds to right. this. I think I'm somewhat swayed by the story of the brewery yeah. and stuff. It's a nice story. I've spent a lot of time. I used to live in Fukushima, so I'm sort of like biased. I will give this a 7.5 with the qualifier that there's only one. Because oh, I think yeah. if you were going to drink more than one of these, it would quickly become unpleasant. And this yeah. is an interesting idea. Like an organic farm decided to make their own beer adding fruit that they had, that they grew there, to the beer. That's yeah, a cool idea. It um, is. Very nice. And I would like to see more of that kind of thing. So I'm sort of like, rather than the beer itself, I think I'm swayed by what they're trying to do with it. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please like and subscribe. We have a Facebook page, Twitter, uh, anything like that. The links for all that is down below. Any beers you'd like to see us try and or suffer through, uh, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to check out our last video, it's right... It's right here! Oh my god! Ah! So we accidentally drank the beer before the video ended, so... Whoops. So anyway... Uh, sad pandas. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I got a little drop. Oh.